People always comment in my videos saying I have a slur. Honestly, maybe I do. A slur? Is that what it's called? What is it called? A lisp. Not a slur. What am I? Oh my god. I can't even speak. No wonder people think I'm illiterate. Hey guys! So, today I thought I would do a currents... Currents? Current favorites video. Um, I try to do monthly ones, but honestly, I don't shop enough and get enough new products to do monthly videos. I thought that I would just do current favorites every once in a while when I feel like I have a bunch of stuff that I want to share with you all that I've been enjoying. So I'm going to start off with makeup and beauty-ish products. So the first thing that I've rediscovered and re-fallen in love with for the spring and summer is my Urban Decay Naked Palette. If you're looking for a good palette for the summer season that we are now going into, I would highly recommend this palette as it is filled with all really, really warm hued shades. I'm wearing it on my eyes right now. I think they're around $65 or $66 in Canada, but it's definitely worth it. I've just re-fallen in love with it. I stopped using it for a while. But now it's kind of like my go-to palette, again, that I use this almost every single day that I wear eyeshadow. I'm highly enjoying that. And then along with the eyeshadow, um, before I used to use the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer for like the longest time, and then I found out about this, which is the MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot in Soft Ochre, so it's just kind of like a yellow, flesh-toned kind of color. This thing is amazing at setting your eyeshadow. <laughs> when you put this on your eyes, not to mention, if you have dark eyelids, I personally have darker like eyelids, like they're kind of veiny, so they just are darker than the rest of my skin tone. This evens them out and makes my eyes look brighter, even if I just wear this alone, which I sometimes do if I'm not wearing a lot of makeup. I usually always just apply this on my eyelids just to like even it out. It kind of just brightens up my eyes and makes me look more awake and whatnot. So honestly, I've never had a product make my eyeshadows last so long without creasing, ever. Highly recommend if you're looking for a primer for your eyeshadows. Or if you just have veiny eyelids like me and you're just like, ew, my eyes are dark and gross and this helps. Yay. <laughs> if you followed me for a while, you know I've used a whole crap load of different eyebrow products. And that's because I'm so indecisive and I never can find one that I actually like. Like ever. Until this. This is a L'Oreal Superliner Brow Artist um, Eyebrow Pencil. This is in the color... I think I sharpened off the color. I think it's in blonde or something. It's like a blonde, it's a really, really ashy toned eyebrow pencil and I love this. It fills in my eyebrows so naturally. It looks so nice. It's so easy. It's so fast. They just, ugh. I just literally absolutely love it. I've used like brow pomade. I've used powder. I've used like literally everything you could ever use for your eyebrows. And this is my favorite and it's from the drugstore so it's affordable. Yeah. My next favorite has been something I've rediscovered. For when I do want to wear foundation, like when I'm filming or when I'm going out shopping or going to like dinner or something and I want to look a little bit nicer, um, this is the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 foundation. It's just one of the best foundations that I've ever used, I would say. Um, it just lasts super well. It doesn't, it blends easily, it's a nice color, it doesn't get oily, it covers up my acne scarring. It literally just does everything you could ever want a foundation to do, and it's affordable, which I really highly enjoy. If you're looking for a super good foundation just to have whenever you need a foundation, I would highly recommend this one from the drugstore. I've literally tried a lot of high-end ones too. This is still one of the best um, full coverage foundations that I've tried out. And with that, I've been using this brush. It's by Urban Decay, and this is called the Optical Blurring Brush. I purchased this about a couple weeks ago, I'd say, and I've fallen in love with it. I use it with almost everything that I put on my face, and it just blends out everything perfectly. And it's a lot cheaper than a lot of other foundation brush brushes I found. This was like $20 or something, which is pretty good considering a lot of them are like $40 bucks and shit, which is way too expensive if you ask me. This is really good! Try it! Yeah! And then my last, like, beauty favorite is basically just an argan oil. This one's from Beauty Works Professional. Um, they sent me this when they sent me the hair extensions. If you haven't seen my Beachy Mermaid Waves thingy, check it out. I've been putting it in my hair like every time I wash it and it really helps because my hair is frizzy just naturally. It's always been frizzy my entire life. In the summer I tend to leave my hair natural a lot more than I do in the other months. I'm not sure why I do that but in the summer, I always tend to just leave my hair natural as I kind of have like a beachy like wave texture to my hair. 
So a lot of time I just have to put in an oil or something in it when, especially when it's natural, it's a tame, the natural like wave in my hair and whatnot. So highly been enjoying that product. So now I'm gonna move on to fashion, and I just have a couple like fashiony things that I've been liking. So the first thing I'm gonna talk about is sunglasses. So I've seen a lot of trends going on where they're like the reflective sunglasses, and I definitely really like those. I think the first is a pair of aviators. These are from Aldo. And they just look like this. They look exactly kind of like the Ray-Ban ones, the flash lens ones that I've always wanted, but these ones, of course, are way cheaper. They were like two for 20, so, hey. Another fave that I've been loving is this pair, and this is like a, I don't know what you call this. They have like a greenish tinge to the lens. These are really like sporty. <laughs> I feel like I should wait until I play like, do something hardcore, like skateboard or something. I don't know. <laughs> But these are really sick and I love these ones as well. I got these from uh, West Virginia or Boathouse or something, so kind of like a skate shop. I jumped on the bandwagon, the bandwagon. I jumped on the bandwagon and joined the choker, f choker, the choker trend. Yay! <laughs> this choker I got from a shop called Bear Luna. It's an Etsy shop. I'll link it down below. I purchased two chokers from them and they're really affordable and the girl who runs it is really nice she like tagged me on one of her instagram posts and stuff so really nice girl and i'm glad i purchased from her i'll link everything down below for you guys and if you buy something from her say i sent you just to be like yo chelsea sent me yeah so this one has a om symbol which i really like um, and then the other one that i purchased from them was just this one which i got with a sun just because I think it's perfect for summer as I just love the sun. I'm like a sun worshiper. So just like this, so just a little sun charm hanging from the um, leather band. And I just think these are super cute. For summer, I hopped on a bandwagon and I'm highly enjoying it. I think I might not get off, you know, like I'm feeling it. It was a good bandwagon to hop on. And then I have two clothing items that I've been loving and it's kind of like a trend I've been loving, which is pattern dresses and rompers. So I thought I would show you one of each that I have absolutely loved. The first one was a gift that I got on my birthday. Um, this was from my boyfriend. It's from Aritzia, if you know. That's a, it's a Canadian store, but I know they have it in the States at some places. So it's just like this pattern. It has like a pink with like this floral on it. This is a midi dress, so it comes down kind of like below the knee, I would say. It's super pretty. The back's all open in this dress, which I love. So pretty, I'm literally obsessed. And the funny story behind this is that this dress, I've literally seen it in store like a billion times. And every time I see it, I always like touch it and I'm like, I love this, like I want it. Never told my boyfriend, never told him I wanted it. And somehow he managed to pick the exact one that I wanted for my birthday. Like psychic, psychic connection. The other one that you probably have seen in my spring and summer haul, if you haven't watched that video, go watch it because, just because. And it's this romper from Urban Outfitters, which again, I love. So it looks like this, it just has this pattern. The back is all open in this romper, which again, I'm absolutely obsessed with. And it's just super cute. And I wore this out and I got a lot of people being like, oh that's cute, my boyfriend loves this, he thinks it's cute. So rompers and dresses that are patterned, get them. And both of them have open back, so apparently I like open back too current fave show in the back and now we're just gonna move on to random favorites so random things that I've just been loving so on Netflix recently I've been totally into 90210 and if you haven't watched that show highly recommend it if you just like drama team team drama shows all it is is drama honestly if you like drama <laughs> not that that is the thing I would say you should love but if you like drama shows definitely recommend it. Another thing that I've been loving on Netflix recently has been a bunch of documentaries. They put so many animal documentaries on recently and animal documentaries have a place in my heart. Like I absolutely adore them. And they put on Planet Earth on there which I've almost watched every episode of it so far. And they also put on a Life One by BBC. Again, amazing. They put on so many animal documentaries. So if you're into animal documentaries, I don't know how many times I just said animal documentaries. <laughs> If you're into that kind of stuff, I would definitely highly recommend it because I love them and if you want to learn about animals and you love nature and you're just really interested in animals like me, check it out. And as for my music favorites, if you want to know what my music favorites are, 
I would definitely follow me on SoundCloud. I'm pretty sure my SoundCloud is just my name. I think you can just search Chelsea Trevor and you'll find it. But in there, I like, like all these songs. It's just an amazing app if you're looking to, to find a bunch of new music to listen to. So if you're looking for that kind of stuff, definitely recommend. There's all, you can go in, I'll link my SoundCloud down below so you can go follow me if you want. And you can see all my music that I've been loving and we can like share music back and forth and whatnot. So, pretty sick. All my favorites currently. So I hope that you guys enjoy. Thumbs it up if you do. And don't forget to follow me on my social medias where you can connect with me more than just on YouTube as I'm always on them. And also, thank you so much for 50k. It means so much to me. I've, I don't even know, like last summer when I first kind of like, I only, I didn't even have a thousand I think last summer. So it's pretty crazy to me that I've reached 50,000. So thank you so much to everybody who subscribes to me. It means so much to me and I love you all. And I hope that you know that I really, really appreciate anyone who subscribes to my channel and it literally means the world to me. So thanks for watching and I love you all. Bye!